That one's vanilla bean. Vanilla bean. This one is bang. baby. Baby. <laughs> Nick, they love you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 So distracted. I can't look at this little guy. Stuff like this, you know. This is what <laughs> I set out to do: was just play with puppies all the time. I think the great thing about acting is that you can step into somebody else's shoes without suffering the consequences. I was the kind of person who was like, I was a swimmer. I also really loved art, and I trained like classically as a vocalist for ten years. I watched a Gaga concert and. I started writing music and then I, at the end of that year I auditioned for drama school and I didn't get in and so I decided to do a diploma of music theater and then from that I figured I liked the acting thing. Anyway, so now I'm here. What's your drag name? Because yeah. it's hard, That's man. A good one. I would, I'd get on board with that. Uh, drag name, what breed of dog are you? I have a, I have a temporary good. drag name. but. Anyway. What's your temporary drag? I don't know if I can swear on BuzzFeed, so... Oh. No? No. What is your... No. That's... Mm, what, are you, no? what are you doing? No. I hope that this movie furthers a conversation of, of representation and inclusiveness um, and tolerance. See your story uh, represented on a screen is, is a really powerful thing. I think representation is, is crucial. It's so important to see people who look like you and act like you and, and to see stories that you can relate to because it's what it's what makes you feel not crazy or, or not alone. I, this is a story that's kind of, it's overdue, but I hope that it normalizes those feelings because I think it's so underrepresented in the media and you know, if you don't see those stories, you don't understand them and, and then it makes it weird to be that and I just, I think it takes so much courage to come out and hopefully this film can on my shoe. be a talking point to ease it. Oh, so cute. It's actually just like a scene in the movie. If you watch it, there's something exactly this happens. Uh, except the dog is maybe not quite as cute as this I one. love you so much. Little vanilla bean, <laughs> this guy might have to come with me. I feel like now more than ever is a time where you can find a community, uh, whether it's online or you can find people with like-minded views. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable. I can't give personal advice because like everyone's story is different and I've never had to go through coming out or, 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 or anything like that. Knowing that like you're, you're not alone and your friends, if they're real friends, will accept you and, and love you and... Oh wait, no, those guys are not friends. We're gonna have to separate you two. <laughs> Sorry. I never fit in. Like I was an athlete, but I was also musical, and I was also a super nerd, but also like none of them ever felt right. You're conflicting ideas of like, you're trying so hard to be authentically you, but yeah. at the same time you're like, who, who am I? And, and trying to like figure that out. What were you like in high school, Nick? I feel like I was kind of a misfit. I didn't really belong to any one group. I've never had to do an interview with puppies before. This is harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Don't try and fit in as hard. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable um, and trust your instincts a little bit more. High school is a time when you know, you're trying really hard to express yourself, but you don't always have the tools, emotional tools to do that. Just pet puppies. My advice would be keep doing what you're doing because I feel like I wouldn't change anything. I read it, did you read it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I read it after, I loved it. I was such a fangirl of the book. I reached out to Becky on Instagram and just like fan. Here, this is your guy. <laughs> Adapting a, a novel for a film is tricky because the backstory you have to include in like an hour and a half. Baby, don't leave me. <laughs> <laughs> if you want a little backstory, the novel's really great. In the book, they go much more into like Leah and her insecurities, and I think that's a really large part of what's going on with her, is like, not only the whole emotional journey, but also how she feels about herself. I got to read the book, and um, it, it just added a lot of depth to these characters. Like maybe this is because of her background. She used to be a school counselor, but she's really good at making these characters uh, three-dimensional and showing their, their journey. I think we did justice to it. I hope that, that if you liked the book, you liked the movie, and if you've never read the book, I highly recommend checking it out. We went to Savannah, which was cool, except for the ghost who did not enjoy that. Oh yeah, Savannah was actually the best part of that. Yeah. yeah. You also taught me how to drive. You knew how to drive. You drove on the other side of the road, Yeah. Right? You've driven a car before, right? Yeah, no, 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 I drove okay. in a car. He didn't, he, let's specify, he didn't teach time. me how to drive, but ow! Babe, come on, it's not fun. What's my finger? It's not like delectable or something. What? Sorry. Um, <laughs> puppies.
definitely not ready to direct a movie, but mm -hmm. uh, if I was to direct a film... I like movies that are hard to pin down. I like Donnie Darko. Mm -hmm. Like something along those lines. You remind me of a young vein. Jake Gyllenhaal and Donnie. When I watched oh, it, really? I was like, that's Nick. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if that's a compliment, but I'm yeah. gonna take it as a compliment. Okay. I don't feel ready to direct something I'd like to direct, but I, I, if I did it, I would want to be ready to do it. I really like the idea of capturing parts of yourself that you keep to yourself and you don't show to people. I think that's really cool. Actually, I had this idea to tell, like, when you fall in love with someone, but from, like, a girl's perspective, for another girl, like, I had a friend who taught me about that, and she just had a really beautiful story. Oh God, I can't even think, I can barely like think about what I'm doing tomorrow. I can't think about <laughs> five to 10 years. Um, yeah, I'd like to do more acting. I'm gonna say it quietly, here I'll tell you. I'd also like to do some music, because I think I came from a music background. Mm -hmm. And like the last two years for me, I did like 13 Reasons and I did this, and they're just coming out now, but like I think music is still at my core. So I don't know, maybe put some music out, because my friends, desperately want me to do that because I've known me since I started writing. So we'll see. We'll see. All right, thank you so much. He's All not right. leaving me. <laughs>